I'm really glad to be getting back out on the doorsteps again and getting to go around London more. It was obviously difficult during the, the peak of the pandemic when we were in a real public health crisis because we couldn't do that. And I've missed having that direct contact with Londoners. So I'm really enjoying being back out doing that again. Jobs, homes and clean air are my three top priorities because these are three basic needs of Londoners that aren't currently being met. Uh, we're in a recession because of the pandemic. Um, I'm really worried about young people and the risk of a lost generation, so I want to make sure there are opportunities available for them. On housing, we've been let down. The current mayor has only started half of the affordable homes that he promised back in 2016. So I want to take this opportunity with a shift of homeworking to convert empty office space into affordable homes and finally fix that. What's clear is that businesses and organisations across the capital are planning for a new way of working whereby people work from home some days of the week and work in the office some days. So that means there's going to be lots more empty office space coming onto the market. And I think we need a plan for that. We can't just leave these spaces empty. We can't leave areas to languish. Um, so I think we've got a once in a generational opportunity to finally fix our housing crisis by converting some of that space into quality, affordable, zero carbon homes. With the shift to home working, I think that our transport system needs to reflect that change. This is the reality of what's taking place in London. And at the moment, you can only get a seven day travel card, which if people aren't going to be going into the centre of London or other parts of London seven days a week, it makes no sense. That's a cost that Londoners don't need to bear anymore. So I think it makes sense to introduce a four day a week um, travel card instead to accommodate the way that how we live and work has changed as a result of the pandemic. And our air quality is terrible in London. I'm an asthmatic because of it. And the climate emergency is a crisis that's never gone away and is only getting more and more urgent by the day. So it absolutely has to be a priority for the next mayor. Um, children are dying because of our poor air quality. So there's a whole range of things we can do um, from housing to transport to clean that up. Um, crime is obviously important. We've seen that from recent events in particular, the, uh, the way that the vigil for Sarah Everard was policed shows that there is a need to restore trust between the police in London and the communities that they serve. And that's one of the things I would do as mayor as well. I think that for anyone who's intersectional, so whether that's you know age, race, gender, sexuality, um, of course there are more barriers that you face um, throughout your life in all sorts of ways. And um, I have sometimes been on the receiving end of abuse just because I'm young and female. Um, these are two things that, that sometimes uh, people focus on, but there are advantages to it as well. Um, I bring a fresh voice and perspective to politics, one that I think is badly needed. Um, and I think that's particularly relevant at the moment, actually, because we've got a lot of younger Londoners who are entering a difficult jobs market like I did. I graduated after the last recession, um, facing the prospect of jumping um, around between um, overpriced rented flats and, and lack of job security. So um, I also bring a, a relevance and um, an ability to, to relate to those people. And um, I draw my strength at the end of the day from the people that I'm seeking to, to represent. So I, I don't let those things hold me back. This is not a two horse race. The Conservative candidate is miles behind the current mayor. And that means that there is room for an alternative challenger in this race. The Conservatives can't win here in London. They've already made sure of that with Brexit. And then they selected Sean Bailey as well. So um, there needs to be a progressive alternative. And that's why I'm putting forward ideas for the future of London, because we need leadership beyond this crisis.